The mountains of Western Ghats in peninsular India stretch 1,600 kilometers. This region is a global biodiversity hotspot, a treasure house of unique and diverse flora and fauna. Amphibians in the Western Ghats are particularly rich in diversity and many are found nowhere else. Four ancient families of amphibians are endemic to the Western Ghats. One of the endemic families, Micrixalidae, evolved about 85 million years ago. Frogs of this family live in perennial hill streams, usually in splash zones of flowing streams or on adjacent shores. Calling males perch on wet rock surfaces to establish and defend their territories with spectacular use of their hind foot. They stretch out one hind limb at a time to its full length and spread out their toes to completely expose flashy webbing in a striking display. It may be amusing to humanize. For frogs, it conveys serious messages. For other males, the messages go away. And for females, the messages come to me. In case an intruding male is not intimidated, the defender of territory kicks its rival like a kickboxer. Scientists call this foot flagging behavior and others with probably more romance in their hearts choose to see this as a dance. The background melody of echoing frog calls and flowing stream completes the effect. This fascinating display has earned these frogs the name Indian Dancing Frogs. Female chooses a male and permits him to climb on her back. Till the eggs are laid and fertilized, the male does not leave this position. He becomes a backpack to the female. The mating pair enters shallow water. Now, female feet come into play. With the hind limbs, she digs out a cavity in the stream bed, where she lays her eggs and then covers them with soil and gravel. This cover prevents eggs from being washed away in flowing water and protects them till they hatch. A team of researchers led by S. D. Biju from University of Delhi extensively surveyed the mountains of Western Ghats. In collaboration with scientists from Indian Institute of Science Bangalore and National Center for Cell Science Pune, they have recently published the discovery of 14 new species of dancing frogs. We have walked across the Western Ghats for over 10 years to understand the existing species diversity of this unique lineage. Our study, using DNA barcoding techniques along with external and internal morphology, gave us gratifying results. We identified and formally described 14 new species of Micrixilis from the Western Ghats. Sadly, these unique dancing frogs occur only in small regions and some are rare to find. Some occur in unprotected areas which increases the threat to their survival. The dancing frogs were on earth much before human beings and in that sense are senior to us in evolution. To lose them is to lose some unique links in evolution. It is quite possible that there are more dancing frogs, yet unnamed, waiting for discovery. To find them and protect them is our responsibility. <laughs>